Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for our 2020 Caden Live video series. Today we are going to talk about some more of the basics. So I'll show you how to add some video clips and how to do some basic editing, okay? So if you want to know where you can download some nice videos for practice, you can go to www.pexels.com slash videos. So I am showing you, uh, I've downloaded some clips from this website and we will be using that in today's tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna launch Kaden Live. And here we are. So this is our basic user interface. Okay, so we've got our project bin here. Um, this middle window is for any of our uh, clip properties and any of the effects that we're gonna do or add to our clips. We've got our preview window here and then we've got our tracks here. So two for video, two for audio, okay? So these are our basic tools for cutting our video. Um, we've got the zoom in and zoom out for our track editor here. All right, so let's just go ahead and add a video, okay? So the easiest way to do that is to just drag and drop. So I've opened up a file manager here. I've got some videos. I'm gonna add that one, this one, this one, and this one. Actually, I'm adding this one here, all right? So just drag and drop, it'll add everything on there. It's going to ask me whether or not I want to switch the profile to a uh, Ultra HD. It's because one of the video clips here is in 4K, but I want to keep my project settings to 1080p, uh, 25 frames per second. Actually, I'm going to change that to, I'll change it to 30 frames per second. Okay, so I just went into project settings. You can change it to whatever resolution that you want and speed frames per second. So you've got your 4K options here. So that's good. I'm just keep, gonna keep it at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Click OK, continue, yes. Uh, I won't save it for now. Okay, so I will save this project as, all right, just in case it crashes, because it does happen. I'm gonna save it as my demo. Yep, I'll replace that. Cool, so now it's saved, all right? Okay, so we've added some clips here. Uh, what we can do is we can preview this. Okay, I'm gonna press play, preview, right? So that's just an aerial shot. Uh, you can also use the space bar to pause, okay, and play. All right, I'm pressing the space bar. Uh, let's check this one out. Similar, okay. So that's just aerial shots of the beach. And we've got some coffee going on here, okay. And then this lady that's going to be drinking that coffee, okay. So just a simple sort of storyline that we're building. Okay, so there's a couple ways to add your video onto your track here. You can add it directly by dragging and dropping, all right. And I'm not going to need the whole clip here. So what I'll do is I'll make some cuts. So the way to make a cut is to use your razor tool or you just press X on the keyboard. Okay, it's going to turn that cursor red. Okay, I'll cut it right there. And let's say I'll cut it maybe right here as well. Okay, so I'll switch it back to our selection tool. S on the keyboard. So now what that did was it cut our clip into three different parts, all right? So you can preview those parts just by putting the, uh, the timeline or the needle to where you need it to be, okay? So if we, so that's blank, so it's just gonna show up as black. So there we go. Now, I'm only gonna keep the middle part. So what I can do is select this, I'm pressing delete, Okay, to get rid of it. Okay. And I'll move this to the very front. All right, so that's our first clip that we want. Okay. Now another way to do this 
what we just did, which is clipping out a certain portion of a video that you have in the bin, is the zone in and zone out method. Okay, so the next video we're going to add is this coffee machine. Okay, so we want to get it where the brew is just starting. And let's say we want to end it right there. Okay, so it's zone set zone in is by default at the very beginning we can set the zone out at this point here so click that so what that does it, it excludes everything else at the end now what happens is when i drag this into my timeline it's only going to drag in that bit okay that we selected as the zone in and zone out so there we go so it's just that coffee starting and then it's done all right, so this is a great way, zone in and zone out. I feel like it's a great way if you're working with really long clips in your project bin, okay? So to only pick out the parts that you want. All right, so we're going to add another video here. We'll switch back to the other method, okay? So just as a review. So actually, no, we'll click that here to preview our project, okay? We're not going to get the whole thing, so we'll cut it right here again. So the razor tool, cut, and then back to the select tool, and then we'll get rid of this other bit. All right, cool. Now, finally, all right, again, the zone in, zone out method as a review. So when I click this, it's going to preview what's on here. Okay, if I click this bar, okay, it's going to preview what's on my timeline, okay? So just so you don't get confused which is which, okay? See? So just as a as contrast, right? If I click that same video up here, it's going to preview the whole clip that we have, all right? So there we go. So that's the whole clip because it's previewing this file, not this part, all right? Anyway, back to this lady. So, I only want to get the part where she's starting to sip that coffee. All right. So, I'll just move this back a bit. I'm just using the arrow key here to move. All right. So, let's say there, that's my zone in. All right. Just get her to drink that. And that's the zone out. Okay. Bang, done. Because that's a long clip. Now, if you notice, this video actually has an audio component, all right? So it shows up in the green here. It actually doesn't have any volume, so there's no waveform that you see. So if I move it up to the audio track, uh, video track 2, it automatically moves the audio to the audio track 2. Now, this is something new in the, in the refactored version of Caden Live. It automatically splits the audio and video. Now, that's useful most of the time. I don't know, maybe some people don't feel that it's so. Um, I typically feel that it's useful for my workflow because I remove the audio anyway. So what I normally do to, re to remove is just to right click, you ungroup, okay? Now they're two separate pieces. You can move the audio around if you want, or in our case, we're just gonna delete that, all right? So I'm just gonna move these clips all next to each other so that we can preview what we've got so far all right so we've got a view of aerial view of the beach you know starting off with our coffee right another view of the beach and then we're drinking our coffee delicious anyway as you can see those are just really hard cuts all right no transitions from one to the next. What I'll do is I'm just going to zoom into my timeline, right? Zoom in so we get a bigger view of each. Now, to do transitions in Kden Live, it's really simple. So we'll just move this up here and you just overlap one clip over the other. Now, note that whatever's on top gets played, okay? So whatever it is on top, if you've got text, if you've got a photo, if it's on top, if it's on the very top of, if you've got more than video, you know, two video tracks on here, the topmost one gets played. 
all right now when we hover over okay we'll see this purple button and it's going to add if we click on there it's going to add a basic transition now your basic transition so this was our transitions box effects box when we select that it just says that it defaults to a dissolve okay so what does a dissolve look like so it's just that it's just a nice little fade soft fade we can change it if we want okay let's say we want to change it to burst okay what does the burst look like bang it just bursts out now we can lengthen the effect all right and the way that we do that is we want to extend this out okay so what we do is we also match that okay so there we go so it slows down that burst effect all right cool so let's go ahead and add this we'll just do another dissolve there and because we're getting a bit fancy we're gonna do something different here we'll do a cloud huh what about let's see what a cloud looks like yeah all right obviously you might have some stutter here depending on your computer because your computer is trying to preview this on the fly so that's what's happening on my computer right now there's a bit of stutter but when you render this video out everything should play pretty smoothly all right with all the effects yeah smooth that time all right so that's pretty much covering all of the basics for now guys uh, we will put together a bunch of other skills in your toolbox so that we can go create uh, some more engaging videos and that's it for now i will see you in the next installment of our 2020 kid and live basic series i'll see you next time Bye-bye.